I'm very excited to show you the next step in this system and that is what I call the ultimate container for a container gardening. This as you can see is a five gallon bucket and I've drilled 20 holes in it and in this one small area of about a foot I can grow 20 plants and these are gorgeous ever bearing uh, strawberry plants and instead of uh, taking up or having to build a raised garden bed and take up much more space. So by using container gardening I can use the same amount of space here and have much higher yield. Now today I'm going to be putting in strawberries in this bucket. You can put it whatever you want. You can put in uh, lettuce. You could create an entire salad out of this bucket. You could feed your family every couple days with salad. Simply by coming in cutting the leaves off or pulling the leaves off and uh, the, the chives and the onions and so forth from this one bucket. Now, another thing that I love about this bucket is that you can stack them. Just put the lid on top. Instead of putting the plastic here on top, you can put the lid on top, drill a one inch hole here, and uh, continue the uh, wicking process up through to the next bucket. Uh, what I've done here is I have the, the rolled up t-shirt from the last video. I've got it already here, put it inside the bucket. It's already nice and wet. And let me tell you about the spacing here. What I did is I measured three and a half inches from the bottom of the bucket. Then I measured six inches above that. And that, that gives me my spacing. To start the rows, what I did is I measured an inch and a half off to one side and put a mark. And then every three and a half inches, I put another mark. And this creates my vertical rows. So every six inches, I have uh, two holes. And I, I um, kind of offset them all the way around. So that will give you 20 holes in this bucket. Then uh, what I did is I kind of punched those in with a, with a nail punch. And then used a one and three quarter inch drill bit to cut that out. Then I just took uh, my knife and kind of rounded that off in some sandpaper to get rid of all these kind of uh, rough edges here. Now I'm ready to plant. Of course I've got my ho uh, air holes in the bottom and my one inch hole in the bottom for my wicking cloth. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start planting this bucket with these strawberries. Again, you can put anything you want in this bucket and uh, since I'm planting all the, the entire bucket at one time I'm going to show you uh, a great way to do that. Before I show you that though, I want to mention here that I have some uh, duct tape around the bottom. So this bucket is going to sit inside this watering container just like that one is sitting inside of that watering container. Now you notice I cut this one down six inches. The reason is, is so I can fit this bucket right on top of it. Just like that. All right. Now, I want to make sure that the bottom of this bucket is above that drain hole. And this one kind of went down a little bit further than I wanted. So I can either adjust the drain hole, and I keep these drain holes three inches off the bottom, or I just put some duct tape around it, and that uh, made it sit up a little bit higher. So that's exactly where I want it to sit, right there. You can wrap it once or twice or three times, depending how high you want to get the bucket to go. So let's go ahead and start filling up the bucket. I have the first row of plants put in. And what I simply did is I took the plants out of the little containers, put them on the inside. Uh, what I did is I filled the soil up here, this 70-30 mix of peat moss and perlite. Filled it up to just about the bottom of these holes here. Then I just pushed the, the plants in from the inside out and then just laid them in the dirt. You can angle them up or down or straight out. It doesn't really make any difference. But uh, here, because I'm planting the whole bucket one time, I can just do it a level at a time, which makes it really easy for planting. Now, if you already have the bucket full and you're going to be adding other things, what you simply do is just take a, your finger or something like that, poke a hole in here, stick the plant in, and then if you need to, take some extra soil and pat that back around. Either way works, works great. I'm going to go ahead and finish filling up this bucket. I have all but the top row planted. went very quickly. Now I stopped here because remember we need to add our dolomite or agricultural limestone. It's supposed to be mixed in within the first two or three inches of the soil. Now this is what I do. You may find that you prefer to do things differently. Now because I'm growing plants from top to bottom, I could actually take my one cup of dolomite and just have mixed it in with the entire soil mix and that probably would have worked well if not better. But I'm just going to go ahead and put in my one cup of dolomite in here. 
mix it up with the soil, and then I'm going to con continue planting in the strawberries. Now that I have all the plants in and the soil lightly packed down, I need to add my fertilizer. Here I have my one cup of 10-10-10 fertilizer. And to make it easier, because I want to be able to use this over and over again, I asked my wife for one of her nylons. This happens to be a knee-high nylon. Put a, a cup of uh, fertilizer in it. It's going to put it right in the center there. Now I'm going to cover this up with the, the soil. If you wanted to, you could take this fertilizer and just mix it into the soil. The problem with that is, if you want to reuse the soil season after season, then you can't get the fertilizer out and what happens is the salt builds up in the soil. The plants don't grow well in salty soil. Uh, if you wanted to get this, if you're concerned about getting this uh, fertilizer further down into the soil, what you could do with this is simply as, as you're um, filling up the, the bucket, you could simply stretch this nylon out and kind of feed it up vertically through the bucket here and bring the fertilizer up. I'm just going to put it right there and finish topping off the bucket. Now that I have the bucket topped off, I'm going to go ahead and put the lid on. There you have it, the ultimate container gardening container. Why do I call it the ultimate? First of all, it's a free five gallon bucket. Can't get any better than that. Second of all, you can stack these. I would, I don't know about three high, but you can certainly stack them too high and still have the siphoning effect of the water going up through. Second reason is because we can get 20 plants in one small area. So we're not limited to uh, our garden area. We can put this on a patio, which I've done here. Uh, you, you don't have to have property. You can be, put this on a balcony. Yeah, you, it's movable. So if, if you're planting plants that are sensitive to the weather, you can bring it inside. It works perfectly with the automatic watering system. I also really like the ratio between the amount of potting mix to the number of plants. I feel there's a good ratio that the plants will be able to have enough room to grow and be healthy, but we're not using excessive amount of soil simply to fill up a space to hold plants. So whereas in uh, larger containers, maybe 30 or 50 gallon containers, uh, you're going to be using up a lot of soil that you may not actually be needing for plant growth. I like the portability of it, that it's uh, lightweight, has a built-in handle, and can be moved uh, anywhere if the sun changes, you want to change locations where you thought you wanted it originally, it's, it's easy to do so. So there's lots of advantages to this. You can use the soil over again. It's very low maintenance. You don't have to worry about coming out during the season and fertilizing or watering or weeding. I've really fallen in love with this ultimate container. There's a lot of possibilities here. Now, I've just shown you what I've done. I measured three and a half inches from the bottom of the bucket and drilled one and three quarter inch holes. You may want to measure four inches up. And you may want to drill a one inch hole or a two inch hole. Um, I measured these six inches apart, and you may want to measure them five or seven inches apart. It's really up to you. Find what works for you. I would love to find out uh, what you plant in your ultimate bucket, what has worked well for you, different ways that you've used them, and what your experience has been. Anyway, this is a very excited LDS prepper reminding you, if ye are prepared, ye shall not fear. And I'm going to show you in the next video how you can incorporate this off-grid automatic watering system to other containers, not necessarily five-gallon buckets. So stay tuned.